Iranian stand-up comedian. <laughs> yes! So two! Two American imperialists go into bar. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Anthony Shams, who's really going to be as long Anthony Shams. Now, one can only imagine how much trouble this can get him into when he's at the airport. <laughs> Rehearsal in Persian or English means nothing. <laughs> but, how would you like me to do this show? G rated? PG rated? PG 13? R rated? R rated? X rated! I see seven guys are saying R rated. Welcome, my Brokeback Mountain friends. I don't recognize you. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's event. Can you break the lights? These guys are not paying attention. Is the voice? Can you hear me there? I know these went down at one point. Don't make me take you hostage, man. I'm Iranian. <laughs> All right, what the hell? We start the show. My name is Eslam, and my job is to make Iranians laugh. And as you know, that is the... Can we keep the dialogue down in the backstage, please? First of all, I'd like to apologize for that we started late, but as you know, we are Persian, this is part of our religion and culture. If we ever start on time, we'll have a heart attack. All right. My job is to make Iranians laugh, and that is the hardest thing for anyone in the world. Because as you know, Persians do not like to laugh. You don't believe me? Look at the gentleman right there. Or that lady right there. They go to a comedy show, or oh, comedy, comedy show, <laughs> sorry, I had a Persian moment for a moment. They go to a comedy show, and most of them sit like this. What are you holding, sir? And why are you like this? How big are they? As I said, my name is Eslam, that was my introduction. How many people know me here? Yeah. How many people are afraid of saying they know me because my name is Eslam? And you might be Jewish. Or Baha'i. I'm the first, second Iranian actually. Sean too, won, uh, won the ensemble. Whose phone is that? Is it that important that for 10 minutes you cannot stop selling drugs? If you have some, please give me some. Yeah, tell him I want some, man. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. He's still continuing talking. Obviously, don't speak English. <laughs> Sir, are you talking to somebody? You want to share with us? <laughs> oh, these Persians, I tell you. Where were we? Ladies and gentlemen, there are a few things I want to ask you. Number one, turn off your freaking pagers and cell phones. Nobody's going to call you unless you're a drug dealer and uh, then see me after the show because I'm running very low. So, how many people know me? How many people understand Farsi English? Are the rest of you dead? Am I performing at a forest lawn cemetery? What the hell? My name is Eslam. I am the most famous person in the world. I am. When I went to school, if you I'm going to do the show in English. Is that okay? Yes. How many people want to hear it in English? Woo! How many people? How, how many people uh, I don't have much time, so thank you. How many people want to hear it in Farsi? Yes. That's it? I thought there were more Persians here. Well, you know what? Let's go halfway. I will do the English in a way where everyone will understand. Good evening, the ladies and the gentlemen. Welcome to uh, uh, University of Minnesota, where I will be trying to make you laugh, which is basically harder than me as a man giving birth to quantuplets. <laughs> what I want 
to school, Americans would tell me like, where are you from? I'm like, I am Ferham Iran. Back then I was a foreigner, I had an accent. <laughs> I am Ferham Iran. And where else? Just Iran. Both your parents are from Iran? Yes. It's not Iran, it's Iran. R-E-R-U-N, Iran. Where are you Ferham? Well, I'm one third Irish, two third Cherokee Indian, one eighth German, and seven eighth Hungarian. <laughs> oh. How many men did your mama sleep with just to make you? I had heard Americans are crazy, but not this crazy. <laughs> I go like to the security and go like, hmm. You're from Iran? He said, no sir, I'm from Iran. Iran, Iran, same shit. No sir, no, 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 no. It's Iran. Oh, you mean like Iraq? No, that is a different country, sir. What do you mean? Iran is one country and Iraq is another country. What's the difference? The difference is Iran, us, we are the ones actually with the weapons of mass destruction. So, and your name is Islam? No, it's Islam. Is that your real name? <laughs> well, actually, sir, <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, uh, no, that I just chose this name right after September 11. <laughs> just so when I am at the airport, uh, I get searched, a strip search, and I tell you, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> When I go in there, they were like, oh, okay, I ran your restaurant, follow us, please. And we go to a different room, I'm thinking, hey, they're going to give me vodka. I may be Muslim, but if it's free, hey, drink up. <laughs> so they go like, would you mind bending, uh, taking your clothes off? But like, what the hell? <laughs> but you can't argue with them. And they were like, would you mind removing your clothes? I'm like, what? Would you mind bending over? What? Shouldn't you buy me a glass of wine, sir? I'm not that easy. I don't know what those guys told you, that broke back mountain moment. It was a joke, okay? We are all Persians, right? How many non-Persians here? Are you American? Are you? Take him hostage! Take him hostage! This infidel! We do things that makes us different from other people. Americans always go like, you're from Iran? Yes. Do you speak Arabic? No, it's stupid. We don't speak Arabic. We speak Iranic. <laughs> okay? And we do things that make us different. What do you mean? Well, if you drive to a uh, market with a Mercedes Benz of the latest model, lots of jewelry on you because that's the Persian thing to do. And then on the cell phone, one of your cell phones, you're asking Maria, your mate, what you need for the pantry. But when you come to the cashier, it says, excuse me, do you accept food stamp? You might be Persian. If you hate to be referred to as an Arab, but anybody who speaks Spanish, you call them Mexican, you might be Persian. If your favorite colors are black, Belak and more Belak, you might be Persian. If you drive with how expensive the gas is, actually it's cheaper here. With how expensive the gas is, if you drive 10 miles to return an item to a Dollar Tree store, you might be Persian. If you ask for a price check at the Dollar Tree store, you might be Persian. Ladies, and sometimes gentlemen, if your nose is 180 degrees different than your God-given nose at birth, you might be Persian. If you can if you can lose 10 pounds by shaving your back, you might be Arab. However, if you can lose 5 pounds by shaving your back, you might be Persian. <laughs> and this one is touchy, but what the hell? My name is Islam, I say anything I want. If the law changes in America, and you as a foreigner, foreigner become the President of the United States, and in the swear, uh, ceremony, swearing day, inauguration day, your parents are sitting in the front row, American friends sitting next to them and around them, and everyone is congratulating and saying, 
Congratulations, your son is the President of the United States. You must be really proud of him. Your mother or your father or both at the same time simultaneously, they open their mouth and say, Oh, no, 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 no. You should see his two other parodies. One is the doctor, the other one is the engineer. You might be person. I had this girlfriend, a girl who actually was stupid enough to go out with me. We invited to my house. My mom cooks 7,000 type of dishes. She comes and I noticed her name was Carol. She comes in and goes like, Excuse me, Anthony. I mean, Anthony, but you didn't see any as long. <laughs> Anthony, may I use your bathroom? I'm like, what do you mean? Do you have to go to bathroom? <laughs> yes, very bad. Oh, go, go, go. Don't piss on our carpet. Come on. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> so, Carol goes, I'm kind of confused. You know, you Persians are so hospital and stuff. But when I was in your bathroom, I didn't see any plants, fake or real. But I saw this little watering canister in the corner. <laughs> what is that for? But I'm, oh, uh, what is it called? Um, this is, uh, this is called Octobe. <laughs> oh, whatever. What do you use it for? And I'm, oh, should I tell you? I mean, there are not, um, not persons here. I don't want them to go home stupid enough to know how to clean their ass. <laughs> Said basically we use that to kill in our bots. <laughs> How? Okay. You fill up that sunny with water, then you go in a squatting position like this. You take four finger left hand. Why left hand? Because in Muslim religion we eat with the right hand, we wipe with the left hand.